We're back in the Trentonian newsroom on Friday afternoon. Hey, do you want to come up here for one more second? Yeah. I gotta test this. Wait, never mind. It seems pretty in focus. You just have to be close to the camera. Hey Artemis. Yeah. We're alive. Hold on. Live on the air. Oh dear. What two cases are you writing about today? They're both sex assault. Oh, sex assault. One with they attacked a 15-year-old girl, and another guy attacked an 8-year-old girl. One guy's in the prison, and one guy's not. Bailed himself out. Who are the defense lawyers? We don't know the defense lawyers yet. They've just been indicted by a grand jury. And the eight-year-old, where does she? Where's that case out of? That, that, that case came out of him. And the other one came out of the city. They all involved a man attacking a child, a child of one of their friends. Both of them. Bad case. Thank you. Thank you. Joey really needs a tripod. I don't think it'll uh, fit in this. They're all like standard kind of size, actually. Right, but that's for the flip cam. No, there's no hole in it. No, no. There should be, yeah. Tie out. Uh, nope. Not underneath there. Hey, Salaman. Good job you did today. I uh, know. Here's Salaman Abdul Rahman. Now, look. Hamilton reporter. If you go and look in the alpha, you look online right now. There's a story about a riot breaking out at this funeral. 
for this lunchroom lady from Trenton High, okay? And it seems that you'll see in your story in there. I mean, uh, okay. you know, the cop, I guess, there, you got to talk to them and see what their side of the story is, okay? Because they're being accused of conducting, like, a police riot. But the story goes, as you'll see in there, that uh, at this funeral for this 71-year-old lunchroom lady that was from the Wenzel family, somebody calls 911 to come to the funeral home because somebody was suffering some seizure or something. When the cops get there, they start handcuffing the guy, and then other mourners step in. Hey, what are you doing? And then before long, pepper spray is being sprayed around. The rumble is tumbling out into the front wall of the, of the uh, funeral home. Sandy Hopkins from sales is going by saying, The cops are holding four guys on the ground right now. There's a dozen police cars here and all kinds of fire engines and ambulances. And, that. and then one of the, from the family, calls up after the thing settles down. Who's got whose number I'll give you, you can call him, his name is Mike, and he says, that, like, look, you know, the cops came there to answer the call of somebody who was having a seizure, like a medical thing, and then suddenly they were handcuffing the guy, and we said, we didn't call you there for this, and then things devolved from there. And uh, so it's going to be, we'll see what the cops say. Sure could use it. 